Dude, I want to tell you everybody about an interesting thing that happened to me just the past couple days. See, I was searching in the back of my closet trying to find a new outfit to wear. Eh? 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 Ah, that's where I have one. When suddenly I found myself in this alternate world full of dwarves and witches and fawns. Narnia! No, not Narnia. I'm talking about Bass Aquarius Land. See, the rules are different in Bass Aquarius Land. One of the things I had to learn about in this new land was the concept of bigotry. Because, as the name would uh, suggest, well, things are a little bit, well, that's backwards. Bigot. One entirely devoted to his or her own, own prejudices or opinions. I guess this is the wrong definition. Oh, take Saudi Arabia, for example. They recently publicly executed a woman for engaging in acts of witchcraft. And then the reasonably minded person would point out that to publicly execute somebody for engaging in a minority religious belief is very clearly immoral. But apparently that action isn't bigotry. No, you need to understand that condemning the government of Saudi Arabia for engaging in such an incruel and inhuman act, that is the bigotry. Who knew? We understand as another example that everybody has the freedom of public expression, but to uh, post material on a public forum, material that is known to be plagiarized, directly copied from another source, filled with hate speech, bigotry, and discrimination of other people's uh, religious worship. That isn't bigotry. To expose these statements, to offer uh, an alternate opinion, to criticize and scrutinize these statements in an equally public forum, that is bigotry. And to assume, just for the lulls, that your own religious beliefs are to have preferential treatment over all others, and that you have the right to discriminate against all other religious beliefs, regardless of what they are. That is not bigotry. No, the act of committing oneself to the open expression of religious beliefs, regardless of what they may be, to advocate religious tolerance, respect, and education of the beliefs and worldviews and opinions of other people, that is the definition of bigotry. Who knew? Eh, I prefer fantasy land. Now, let's make sure that we perfectly understand each other. All people, all people, have the right to believe anything that they want to believe and to express those beliefs in any public forum. What some people fail to understand is that everybody else, everybody else, has the exact same right to believe anything they want to believe and express those beliefs in public, including the dissension of opinion. You see, it's the principle of religious tolerance. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions about exactly what religious tolerance means. A lot of people think that religious tolerance means an absolute agreement with everything that the other person has to say. Uh, to agree on one thing is to agree on everything. To disagree on one thing is to disagree on everything. That is not what religious tolerance is. Uh, for me, uh, tolerance is more along the lines of conflict resolution. See, you're always going to disagree with somebody. There is always going to be conflict. You're never going to completely agree with anything that another person has to say. The trick is to bring yourself to the point that you can begin to respect and understand the other person's uh, dissension of opinion. This takes education. This takes respect and value for the other person's position, even if you may vehemently disagree with it. The only way that we can begin to come together as a society the way that we want to is to begin to adopt that sort of practice, to begin to respect and value and tolerate the opinions, the beliefs, the worldviews, and traditions of other people around us. There's an awful lot to study. We have to realize, of course, that the world is getting smaller. People from this end are being people from this end, meeting people this end, getting married to people from this end, and you know, this race is integrated with that race, and that opinion with that opinion, with this religion with this religion. It's a small world after all. The only way that we can ever survive in this multicultural type of environment is to begin to understand, respect, and value the differences of opinion of other people. 
that does not mean a uh, uh, carte blanche permission for people to engage in hate speech and intolerance. When we find those uh, types of statements that are being made, we have every right to publicly criticize and scrutinize those statements to ensure that people begin to respect and value the opinions of others. We also have to understand, including us, atheists, skeptics, humanists, and so forth, that there are people in this world that are very, very devoutly religious, as we know. There are people that uh, whose religious beliefs compel them to make a positive and lasting difference in society around them. We should not hold all of these religious people under the same umbrella. Uh, they are just as fed up with the individuals that I was describing earlier that abuse the religion in a way that adds credence to their hatred and discrimination of other people. But not every religious person is like that, and of course we realize that. Let's not hold everybody in the same category. Now, for those of you in this uh, tiny, tiny little world of ours that really do feel that you have the right to use uh, bigotry and intolerance and hate speech towards others, I have a little bit of advice for you. As some friendly advice, I want you to grow up. See, you need to get it through your thick-headed little skull that not everybody in this tiny, tiny little world of ours uh, agrees to the same uh, opinions, beliefs, traditions, and worldviews as you do. You need to begin to respect and understand and value the divergent opinions of other people. Deal with it! Now, to everybody else who has already figured that out, I wish you to have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Go ahead and spend time with your families. Thanks for watching, and good night.